Thank you so much for joining us. I'm with Dr. Richard Peake. He is the AGA Institute Council Chair. And um, we're here for this week's association of DDW. What do you think are some of the highlights of, um, of this meeting? Michael, I'm incredibly excited about the meeting this year. Um, one of the highlights is going to be a joint plenary session between the AGA and ASGE. We held this for the very first time last year, uh, but we're repeating it this year because of its success. And that will be on Sunday afternoon from 1.30 until 5. And this year it's going to blend exceptional scientific abstracts with um, invited talks that uh, partner with those topics. And um, it will also include presidential addresses from the AGA and the ASGE presidents. Another highlight of this week is the AGA's postgraduate course. This year, it's gonna be moved back to its original time of Saturday morning. And that program really serves as a linchpin to launch uh, DDW attendees into the um, meeting. And then finally, we're very excited because we have an electronic question and answer form this year. And in selected combined clinical translational um, symposia, there'll be the ability for attendees to ask questions by text or by the web through email in real time during the sessions. And we'll have a dedicated moderator there to field those questions, um, which will allow more people to interact effectively uh, with the uh, lecturers. I understand you have um, kind of a unique component this year, blended forum. Can we you do. describe that? We're very excited about that. Um, and this was really based on respondents um, from the surveys that go out after DDW asking for less redundancy among programming. Um, and so we've partnered with the other societies, ASGE and AASLD, to provide programming that's co-sponsored. Um, we also have a combined translational symposium that's focused on fecal microbiota transplantation that's sponsored by all four societies. And that will move from a basic science aspect of FMT all the way to the federal guidelines that regulate those procedures. So it will have benefit um, across a continuum for many of the people that attend DDW. I know a main concern of many of your members are guidelines. Will new guidelines be issued? during the, the Digestive Disease Week? So we have several sessions that are gonna focus on critical evaluations of existing guidelines. One will evaluate quality guidelines, and that's gonna be on Sunday morning at eight o'clock, and it includes a talk by Dr. Walter Smalley. Um, we also have a session that same day um, by Dr. Bill Brugge that's gonna focus on endoscopic ultrasound detection of intraductal papillary lesions in the pancreas, and the guidelines that govern the management of that. And then finally, we have a very exciting session on Monday morning that's focused on guidelines fo uh, that uh, target diagnosis and treatment of pediatric inflammatory bowel disease. There is so much information that is going to be disseminated here. Um, are, what are the main takeaway lessons that you want your members to have? So. I want excitement to be the key parameter for our attendees this year. I want them to be excited with anticipation when they come to the meeting. I want them to be excited but fulfilled when they leave the meeting. And I want them to be excited to the point that they bring themselves and their colleagues back next year to DDW 2015. And if they want to continue their education um, online, are there, are there other sources that they can turn to? Absolutely. The uh, AGA website at gastro.org has many resources for members to uh, continue their CME uh, training online. Um, also, there's going to be a meeting of the Clinical Congress of the AGA that's going to be held in Miami in January, where members can come and hear, again, state-of-the-art clinical talks on diagnosis and treatment of many of the diseases that we deal with every day in gastroenterology. Wow, what an exciting time coming up. Dr. Peek, thank you so much for being here. And if members want more information, they can follow the DDW blog, and they can also follow the discussion on Twitter at the hashtag DDW14.